Hey guys, how are you? So I'm in the middle of putting my engine together. I got the timing chain cover, oil pump, harmonic balancer. I had to modify the cover. There's four dimples where the oil pump bolts go in on the inside of the cover. They're extended out. You can actually see them on the outside. Here and here, and there's two more on the other side. So I had to grind them down on the inside a little bit to get some clearance going. This is an aftermarket cover. This is the third one I've uh, dealt with and as an aftermarket cover, and every single one of them has been slightly warped. Once you bolt it down and tighten it up, it straightens itself out, but still, they're slightly warped, unless you buy a brand new GM one and spend 200 bucks. But I think I paid $40 for this cover, and from Amazon, or sorry, it wasn't Amazon, it was eBay, one of the vendors on eBay, great deal. Um, so I got the lifters in on the uh, driver's side with the new lifter trays, I didn't tighten them down yet. Um, a little trick for you guys that are building these motors and putting those ret retrofit oil pans in because you're putting it into an LS swap. Really good idea because your oil pan is smaller and it's holding less oil, about a liter less than the factory pan. I drilled these holes into the lifter trays. These are brand new trays. And what that's going to do is allow the oil to start pouring out before it lifts up to the top. Doesn't seem like much, but when you got four of them going, there's about a liter of oil hanging up there that could be back down in the pan. So, good idea is to drill them out. It's a trick that was I learned on on uh, YouTube actually off uh, a couple of guys. I'm not going to mention any names. I don't know if they want me to mention their names, but uh, yeah, that's the trick. You drill those well, those little holes out. There you go. That's in. Nice. And uh, when the oil pumps up inside those lifter trays, it's going to pour out through those little holes back into the block a lot quicker. Anyways, that's all I want to tell you guys. Um, next video will be coming up probably soon, later today. I got the flywheel on, torqued down to 74 foot-pounds of torque with some red Loctite. Uh, harmonic balancer. Summit Racing suggested 110 pounds of torque and then loosen it off 360 degrees and then retorque it to 59 foot-pounds. So that's what I did on the harmonic balancer. Um, as far as everything else goes, it's going together pretty good. Oil pan would not, actually the uh, oil windage tray would not fit with the stroke or crank. The crankshaft cleared the windage tray, but the um, connecting rods were hitting it. So I had to put pretty well, I don't know, three eighths thick uh, nuts as spacers and I put the windage tray back in and then that was fine and then the second problem I came up with when I put the oil pan on the oil pan was hitting the inside of the uh, block at the windage tray area near the pickup oil pickup assembly so I had to do a little modification and cut a little bit of the pan little windage tray out in order for it to fit properly but that's all been taken care of I turned the motor over there's nothing rubbing nothing touching nothing hitting so we're good to go so yeah, stand by for the next video. It'll be coming up pretty soon. Probably shoot it today. I'm about to put the heads on. I don't have them here right on me right now. I got to go pick them up. And I'm using cylinder head studs instead of the bolts, the ARP studs. That way you don't have to uh, torque the yield or torque the angle. Sorry, you could just torque the yield. There is no angle where the factory bolts are torqued the angle, and then you throw them away if you ever take the head bolts off again. You're not supposed to use them again. Anyways, thanks for watching. Um, I'll be coming up with the next video probably later on today. Have a great day. Take care of yourselves. Talk to you soon.